a double O troll. <laughs> the name's Troll. Lol Troll. <laughs> you like turtles? Well, JJ, you need to change your name, buddy. You need to be like Turtle Mod or something. game engine. I believe it's the Unreal Engine. You like flamingos? It always annoys me about flamingos is their legs are backwards, you know? I don't know many other creatures on this planet that have their legs backwards like a flamingo. only play one game, UE4 Automation. Oh, on the Unreal Engine 4. It's cool how people come up with their screen names. Well, it's not so bad now that you can actually change your name, but in the days when people created accounts and then you couldn't change your Twitch name, a lot of people like made throwaway accounts or accounts with silly names and then later came to regret it and they couldn't change it. Uh, ben, good night, sir. Well, it's an ostrich related to a, a flamingo, then. Luke Pryor, didn't you change your name at one point, though? I'm sure your name used to be different. Is there a place where I can find your track IR settings for ETS2 or OMC2? Uh, yes, I don't know how up to date they are, but there is a link to it. It's in my Dropbox. There's a link on the forum, I believe. But I don't know if it's the same as what I currently run. It won't be far away, though. Yeah, I was kind of thinking we might get to our destination before 11. Luke Priony Zoodle. <laughs> you see? You see, you have a name and you regretted it. It happens a lot. No, the sat nav doesn't speak, Foxy. I don't know... I don't... actually can't think of a single game that has a speaking sat nav in it. Can you? Hey, Trensin fan, can you never... did you never actually manage to get your name back? Like your original name? Because you've still got an underscore. 
What happened to the original one? Surely it's available. No, Savamura, true Sarium. Savamura changed his name to the, um, like, um, what do they call it? The, like, the Asian letters, and then you can't change it back. So he had to start a new account called BR22 Savamura. GTA 4. I can't remember if it has a speaking sound there. Anything else? Yep, we're going to be here way before 11 o'clock. So the game was assuming that I would take a 15 minute break, but the route that we have doesn't have a single parking spot on it, and I can't take a break. It's just really dumb. spot there is see it should be like Eurotruck there should be a parking area at each fuel station that would help quite a bit uh, when do you think you'll be having a go at bus simulator 18 uh, well it's not out yet is it Presley um, I sent them my I sent them my logo graphics because they asked if I wanted to have my kind of graphics in the game somewhere, so I sent them my graphics. So, um... But it was weird, they said only you will be able to see it unless you want others to see it. So it kind of sounds like they put my graphics in the game but nobody else can see it unless I allow it, which is a bit weird. Yeah, as in my squirrel logo, Presley. I don't know where they're going to put it in the game. Maybe on a bus skin or something. Maybe the idea is to have like different skins for buses and, and then some of the YouTubers will have their skin in it, maybe? I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. But as soon as they let me play it, I'll play it. Tusk and Walker back. You're watching Squirrel doing a thousand piece puzzle. Wow. <laughs> I haven't done a jigsaw puzzle for a long time. Do you use a steering wheel and pedal or mouse and keyboard? Steering wheel and pedal. I use my driving games. Tuscan, uh, see, when you lurk, you don't know your sub runs out, GG me. <laughs> well, at least you caught it. Well, that is true. I really wish, I really wish that they would let you know when your sub's running out. Or at least give you the option to have an alert or something. thing is, none of the passengers have actually complained about needing a rest. Before schedule, I can't believe it. Okay, we are 
for like 45, what, 50 minutes early? That's just insane. Happy There's a thing called a Twitch Prime sub reminder. Yeah, but what about paying subs, AP3? What about just any sub? Did you see, um, did you see the news about Amazon Prime? Amazon profits are up 20%, I think it was. Which are now 1.6 billion. Was it 1.6 billion? For the, for the first quarter. Like, insane profit. And they're putting up the price of Amazon Prime by $20. So Amazon profits have gone up. They've made a one and a half billion in a quarter and they're putting up the price of Prime. What a bunch of scumbags. We're making loads of money, but it's not enough. We want more. <laughs> wow. Snugs, 35 months. Wow. Close to uh, three years, dude. You're an amazing guy and I salute you. Thank you very much, Snugsy. Thank you very much, sir. Oh my God, I can't believe you're close to three years. That's insane. Rest quality. Lost 50 points for that. Yeah, so if, you've, if, you're, um, if you're a new Amazon... What is it? If you've got Amazon Prime now, the price change won't happen until June. So if you renew before June, you'll pay the old price. If you're taking out a new sub, a new Prime, that will kick into effect in May. That's what it said, I think. Farfid, thank you for two months. Happy late birthday, man -made. Thank you very much, sir. Welcome back, Nutter. Um, can we carry on from Hylebron now? Why can't I, like, how do we just go back? How do we go back and carry on? Well, Jack Sims, you'll be paying the new price next time. I've got a feeling my Amazon Prime renews in the next month, in which case I'll get the old price for a year. <laughs> Thank you, Matt777. How do I go back, guys, and carry on with another route now? I don't know if it, I don't think it's Ed, is it? I mean, if we just edit that. Welcome back, Nutter. Let's see what he does. Now, if he starts a new route, though, I think it, it doesn't it just kind of throw away the, um, start you with a new bus or something. Uh, Cryptic Colt 954, welcome back. Let's try this. Wow, I saw some long roads up here. Welcome back, Nutter. Fortunately, those who are signed up to the annual subscription plan in the UK shouldn't be affected by the price rise. That doesn't make sense, classic. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Uh, Cryptic Colts and Crazy Gigs, welcome back. Mixer DK, thank you for 45 months. Right, I'm on to Nuremberg. Wait, why would it take me that way and not that way? That doesn't make much sense to me. Seriously, how can that route that way be better than this route? Welcome back. It's crazy. UK price rise not confirmed yet, but only US uh, UK is likely to get it too. San Santiago, welcome back. Happy anniversary, Nata. If we're gonna do that, we might as well go via this. Do those four. 
You have to go around Nuremberg from south to north, probably will be longer. I don't agree. I think going that way would make would make it quicker, but hey, what do I know? <laughs> I will turn off the express tag. There we go. Mystic passengers appear. Straight from Amazon CEO, we have to increase the value of Prime. And then the company has added digital benefits like Prime Video. We noticed the company is seeing rising cost. It's a heck of a hike though, isn't it, you know? I mean, how many years before they hike it again? Right, we are going to Würzburg, Nuremberg and Regensburg. Nuremberg sounds good. <laughs> crazy gig, keep it awesome work, 39 months. Thank you, crazy. I think is Amazon makes so much money that surely they can afford not to increase prices. Well, that's the that's the point, Villa Donut, that even given what they said. They just made a load of money, and they made more than they did last quarter, and the money they're making is a lot, and then they still put the price up. Hello, it's weird. Hello, it Thank you. Was he smelling his armpit then? That was pretty weird. Uh, what time do we leave? 10.33. Okay, we've got 10 minutes. Ooh, wouldn't it be cool if you could run over here and just jump into somebody else's bus and drive off? Oh, I can't open it. What a scumbag. I don't have same-day delivery, Jack Sims. The, the best I've got at the moment is next-day delivery. Which is weird, because I don't live very far from London, and yet I'm pretty certain... Dre in Wales can get like one hour delivery. Two hour delivery or some rubbish. As a shareholder, you want to maximize profit. Yeah, it's a balancing act though, isn't it, Sir Falcon? It's always a balancing act. Like if people start to just hate you as a company because they think you're taking everybody for a ride, things change pretty rapidly. You've only found one item the same day. I'm still waiting for drones to bring my stuff. That's going to happen one day. I order some cables, like I order some audio cables in Amazon, and then within the hour a drone flies over my back garden and drops it off. It'll be a few years yet, but it'll happen. Where's Doyle in the house? People have too much reliance on Amazon to care. Well... Yeah, I mean, they've, they've established themselves quite a bit. But, you know, it just, it's happened to every company. They grow big and then suddenly it all falls apart for them. It's happened to entire civilizations. Things go wrong. They get too complacent, too cocky and things go wrong. Even the biggest fall. Back at work on the 8th of May, nice. Well, pretty certain, Trid, it would be a criminal act to shoot a drone. For two reasons. One, discharging a weapon in a, in a populated area. And two, you're shooting somebody else's property. Australia opposed to trialing drones. I don't, I, don't, I don't blame them. It makes a lot of sense. Like in places like Australia, as well, especially where a lot of houses are just really hard to get to. Drones can just fly straight there. It's 
time is it? 10.21. I'm just going to go and grab a quick coffee because quite clearly I'm not going to be brought one. Be right back, guys. Quickest cup of coffee ever. Tyler WX, thank you very much for subbing, Tyler. Thank you for the nutty welcome, guys. For Tyler. San Santiago, eight months. Hey, hey, Twitch Prime. Right then. Time is it now? 1023. Let's get the doors shut before they start complaining. Okay, we shall lock the passenger cargo. We shall play the announcement. Lift the bus up. And skip time. Happy anniversary. Almost ready to depart. The Vanquish. Thank you for 28 months. Night Tiger. The months keep rolling and by. No better place than the night house. Thank you, dude. <laughs> I mean, either way, if you get, if you're um, if you're a person that watches Twitch a lot and you, you know, having an Amazon Prime account and getting Twitch Prime is still a big benefit. I mean, I had Amazon Prime before it was before they even bought twitch i used it for all the free deliveries and then when they brought prime video out it was like cool and then you've got prime music on top all of which is bundled in and then they gave me twitch prime with it it's it's amazing value karacha thank you very much for 200 bits compact thank you for subbing compact 92 thank you for the uh, nutty welcome for compact guys Thank you for your support. Let's get going. I'm not going to be late, dude. I just left on time. Oh, ye of little faith. Anyway, Cuzzy, I thought you said this bus was hard to drive, Cuzzy. I'm kind of struggling to work out why you thought that. I'm not really having many issues with it. Welcome to the Nut House. 
Legends 2150. Can we give Legends a nutty welcome? Thank you for your support, Legends. Welcome to the glory of the nut house. Welcome back. And welcome back, Toon Dudette and Aleb Kudi. You love firm bus but it lags on your PC. You probably just need to dial some settings back a little. I know that if it if you play it when it's snowing, it's really bad. If you play it on a sunny day and just dial some graphic settings back, it might be okay. Your head position is so far forward. Well, you can adjust it. I happen to think I'm roughly where the wheel is. It kind of looks okay to me. Uh, take it through a serpentine road, even try turning uh, with cars and junction, and come back to me with your opinion. A serpentine road or tight turning with cars in the junction. But are you just on about the size of it? I mean, how can it be worse than a Skyliner? Oh, I'm sure I had that. Lower than that before. Why are you driving that fast? Because I want to get there early. Is that a problem? Why do my passengers even care anyway? Dudette, one month or two years, oh my god. <laughs> I hope you have fun at Truck Fest Saturday. I can't go, but next year, fingers crossed. Oh, I thought you could make it this year. No problem. Uh, Alib, some more of Amazon's money. Thank you, Alib. You're like you're all driving critiques now, you guys. You're worse than the passengers on my bus. Well, I don't know. It <laughs> drives through a red light and stops at a green light. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I'm reading chat. Sometimes it happens. The Australia Post drone um, will have wheels. Follow local footpaths. What? You mean it's a, a ground-based drone? <laughs> That's hilarious. So it's basically a postman. I'm not blaming chat. I'm saying goes reading chat. I don't have to read chat. I just choose to. Well, I can't be looking at chat and the road. The last minute invisible barrier, that was brilliant, that. Uh, do you have sleeping problems when you drink coffee late? Yes, but my solution is not to drink coffee late. Because, yeah, if you have caffeine, then I just can't get to sleep. Too late. I just made myself a coffee because nobody was bringing me any drinks. So I have a coffee right here. An abandoned. Oh well, yeah, but you know, I still need to drink. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's alright, I made myself one. Legit Rob, happy truck fest, thank you dude. Is this guy gonna hit me? Thank you, legit Rob. Well, this is it, Boeing. Like, caffeine affects different people in different ways. Like, when I was younger, caffeine didn't seem to affect me as much as it does now. If I have it now, if I was to have a coffee at nine o'clock, it's unlikely I'd get to sleep till about two. It's like a delivery box thingy trialling in some suburbs. I think... 
Yeah. Drones driving around. I mean, I've seen it in sci-fi, you know. It's probably going to be a thing. It's going to take some adjustment for all of us. Uh, what do you do when you can't swim? You drown. Normally. No, I, Carl, I haven't got sleep issues. The question was something along the lines of if you drink caffeine, how do you go to sleep? Or do you have sleep issues? I don't have sleep issues. I'm just saying that if I have caffeine too late in the day, it'll stop me getting to sleep. Sleep, not swim. Well, you said swim. You said, what do you do when you can't swim? That's what you put. <laughs> oh, the Amazon Locker. No, I don't like it. Vanilla. Vanilla Coke. Like, the Amazon Locker really annoys me. You try returning an item on Amazon now. It's absolute scumbaggery. I used to be able to just take it down to, like, the co-op or the post office or something and just hand it in. Now I have to take it, I have to find my nearest Amazon Dropbox thing or whatever it is, which is literally on the other side of Chelmsford and there's only one. It's an absolute pain. Oh boy, car was on fire, do you see that? So yeah, I can't be bothered with those Dropbox things, but I can see why they would benefit you, like, if you need to collect something after work and that kind of thing. No, I've not checked out Japan. I mean, I have seen it, the Japan map for ETS2. It's not very big from what I gather. Well, in Taipan, I'm normally okay up till about 6 o'clock. Depends when you go to bed, I guess. The AI ignore the word cross. Yep. If you notice when you go into a tunnel RW, if you notice, any sign on the inside of a tunnel is completely ignored. Like, the speed limit will often change on the tunnel, on the roof. It'll have like 120, 180, 60. And the AI just goes flying through, and my sat-nav doesn't even change speed either. So any red crosses get ignored as well. Well, I don't know, Custard. Maybe the hate Chelmsford. I have to be there at 12.41. checked out the new update for CM18 with custom gearboxes? For what? Oh, you mean um, the game CM18? No. What is that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Stop. Why is there a giant stop sign? <clears throat> Did you see the invisible barrier then? Apparently, I'm about to be checked. Where are we going? Happy you can't see those barrier things that closed me off the lane. You couldn't even read it properly. Wow, as if I actually have to stop here. Uh, mash, I think. As if they're going to check me right here and block all the other traffic. Okay, let's see. Driver license. Well, the game doesn't provide one and you don't need to do anything to get one. 
Vehicle documents. The game doesn't provide one and you don't need to do anything to get one. Light. I can't control my lights apart from turn them on and off. And they work because the game never breaks them. Has a triangle. I don't even have one. Don't know where it is on this coach and can't use it. Reflective vest. I can't even see my own body. There's no such thing as a reflective vest. Strapped in passengers. I can't check them and they do their own thing. I don't know if they've put them on. Tachograph. Not supported in this game. Continue. Yes. Thanks, police officer. Peter Madsen, thank you for two months. What an absolute stupid addition to the game. I mean, seriously. Seriously. What are they thinking when they add stuff like that into a game? All of these things where you can't even make a mistake on are ticked. It's just like, it's, it's just the most dumb thing to me. I, I just find that irritating, you know? Thomas, 8360. Welcome to the Nuthouse, Thomas. Thank you very much for your support. Can we give him a nutty welcome? I don't think we're due for a stop yet. No, it's after the next one. We'll figure out our rest point next time. Like, features like that just annoy me. If I could get something wrong, you know, if I if I had to check my passengers for being strapped in, right? And in any event, if one of the passengers chooses to undo the seatbelt, how the heck is that my responsibility? The warning triangle. What? What warning triangle? Well, it is. I mean, it's the same in Eurotruck Boeing. Like, weighing your truck in Eurotruck is exactly the same. Like, you can't do anything illegal in Eurotruck, so why are you being checked? Yeah, we keep seeing burning cars. It's a little bit worrying. I think they're all Audis as well. <laughs> You're welcome, Thomas. Calbert, thank you for four months. The warning triangle is supposed to take off the tractor and put in the trunk. What kind of game thinks it's a great idea to not pause it when you start adjusting the UI like that? You know, if I want to start messing about with my camera position, surely the game should just pause. <laughs> okay, I believe we're following the orange line. No, I don't think they complain if you go slow. If you got them there late, they would probably complain. They only complain when you speed. Andy. There we go, Wurzburg. That's where we're going. Hey, colleagues.
missed your donut, Tom. Hang on. I did miss it. One second. Let's make sure we're going the right way. Uh, my coffee machine arrived earlier, and it's, and it's the best one I have had. Thank you for the recommendation. Everyone's loving it in the house. Yay! Tom, I forgot you actually... I forgot about that. You ordered the same coffee machine that I showed you on uh, Sunday Night Truck in like one and a half, two weeks ago? One week ago? I can't remember. Do you know what? Mrs. Squirrel was was a bit worried about that. She said, what if he doesn't like it? I said, well, what can... I showed him the one I've got, you know? What can I do? Well, I'm glad you're happy with it. I really like it. It's a cracking machine. Mr. Burke Black. Thank you for the host, Burke Black. I think it might be an auto host. I don't think he's online yet. I think he's probably just woke up. <laughs> Thank you for the host, Burke. What machine is it? Well, I'm sure Tom could let you know what it is. It's basically a bean to cup machine, but it has a steamer on it as well, so you can make your own frothy milk. 89, I don't know how to say that. It's a Vive? 89's Vive? Thank you for your sub. Welcome to the house, 89. Thanks for the nitty welcome. Want an auto host host that start the stream? No, not necessarily, Captain Flint. If Burke was already auto hosting somebody else and then that streamer went offline, then it would look for somebody else to auto host and then it might come over here. So auto hosting will will try to find per it has like a list and it can either randomize the list or it can work through it in order, but if it was hosting one person it wouldn't automatically host somebody else. It doesn't change it until they kind of log off. You're in South End. My friend lives in South End. Actually two of my friends live in South End. Badger Sim. Great to get seven months as money is very tight at the moment. Uh, very ha happy to support your awesome streams, though. Thank you, Badger Sim. Appreciate that, sir. I just heard a crow. Oh, we're being brake tested. work in Victoria Road South in Chelmsford. Victoria Road South, one second. I'm trying to think where that is. Ah, oh, I think I know where that is. Yeah, by the station, the Essex Courts. Yeah, I know where that is. Yeah. I was trying to think Victoria Road and then I remembered. One's next to the cricket club. Yeah, the, the cricket club is where um, it's like behind the houses isn't it off the main road are we going left yeah we are see here's another thing like you you can't see you can't see those lights up there you have to do that. In the Skyliner, you can see them. So why are there no low-level lights like that one over there? Maybe... Like in the UK, they'd often put lights over here, maybe. When's the game switch? Do you know? We'll be playing Frostpunk at some point later. We'll have to start a new one, though. Because scumbag game. No, I've never worked in Chelmsford. I've always worked... When I've lived in Chelmsford, I've always worked in London.
Australia has lights on the opposite side of the intersection as well. Yeah, it just makes sense. Okay. Teleport your bags on, please. Thank you. Take it, don't miss travelling to and from work. Legit gamer, ugh, I can't tell you. It's hard to describe to somebody what it's like to commute in London every single day. The tubes are not air-conditioned, and in summer they're disgusting. And then a lot of the trains, like, were not air-conditioned either, and so... In winter or rainy times, it would like be too hot, be too humid. It's just nasty. But no, I don't miss that one bit. <laughs> right, Würzburg. We're going to Nuremberg and Regensburg, and we need to find somewhere to park after this. Uh, which shouldn't be too difficult, but is for some reason. Whoa. So again, we're, we're kind of we've got a problem. There's no parking space all the way down here. The only parking I potentially do is if I went that way, but I can't go that way because I think that means the road is blocked. Is that right? That means we can't go that way at all? So there's just, again, there's just nowhere to park. It's just stupid. Like it forces you to lose 50 points. JHMC, welcome back. You have the perks of taking the CTC from South End in Fenchurch as I work 50% Chelmsford, 50% London. Yeah, a friend of mine uh, lives in South End. And he always came to Fenchurch. Then he'd walk over to Liverpool Street and then take the tube out. Central line. Aliki, did you not see the comments on that? It's roadworks, you can go there. Right, we're going to have to go that way. I really, really, really wish it would let me pick my route. Because we're going to follow the sign up. So after the clover leaf, I need to keep going. We need to take route three. Moin. Ich hoffe, ich bin hier richtig. Ciao. Salut. Ich hoffe, ich bin hier richtig. Ciao. It could be Motley. Is this valid? You tell me, bro.